Now, let's learn how to use the basic subroutine of Visual Line Patrol. In the basic subroutine, the relevant programming modules of these AI vision modules will be used. Let's take a brief look here. This module can obtain the road offset value returned by the AI vision module. This module can return the left width value. This module can return the right width value. The last module can obtain the ID of the identified task sign and also the ID number of the traffic sign. In the programming interface of RoboSim software, click the first button in the lower right corner, select and click the Visual Line Patrol. Then you can load the basic subroutine of Visual Line Patrol built in the software. We can find the call modules of these subroutines here in the self-made function. First, let's learn how to use the speed control subroutine. In its call module, you can set the speed of the left and right motors. We can drag the call module of the speed control subroutine and place it under the controller task 1 module in the software. Enter a left speed value of 30 and a right speed value of 30. Switch to the simulation interface, move the robot here, and click on start debugging. You can see that the robot is walking straight. We can change the left speed value to 50. Return to the simulation interface. Move the robot here and click on start debugging. You can see the robot is making an arc turn. If the left speed value is changed to minus 30, the robot will turn left on the spot after running the program. Next, let's learn the subroutine of going straight for a while, which can make the robot run at a specified speed for a specified time and then stop. Here we can enter the speed of going straight, and here we can enter the duration of the straight line. Drag out the subroutine of going straight for a while. We can enter a speed value of 70 and a straight time of 1.5 seconds. Switch to the simulation interface, move the robot back here, and click on start debugging. We can see that the robot goes straight at a speed of 70 for 1.5 seconds. We can change the going straight speed to minus 50 and the straightforward time to 1 second. Run the program, and the robot will move backward at a speed of minus 50 for 1 second. Next, let's learn the call module of Basic Line Patrol, which can make the robot follow the line at a specified speed. Here you can enter the basic speed of the motor during line patrol. When using this module, it should be noted that it cannot be used alone and must be used together with the loop module. Drag out the call module of the Basic Line Patrol subroutine. Enter the speed value here as 70. And find the repeat execution module in the control section. Switch to the simulation interface, move the robot here, and click on start simulation. Then we can see the robot is walking along the road. Next, let's learn about the subroutine of line patrol for a while. It allows the robot to patrol the line at a specified speed for a specified time and then stop. In its call module, you can input the speed and duration of line patrol. In the software, drag out the module of line patrol for a while and input the speed value here as 70. And the line following time as 3 seconds. Switch to the simulation interface, move the robot here and click on start debugging. We can see that the robot patrols the line at a speed of 70 and stops after 3 seconds. Next, let's learn the subroutine of stop at intersection when patrolling. It can make the robot patrol the line at a specified speed and stop when it reaches a specified intersection. In its call module, you can input the speed when patrolling the line as well as the parameters of the intersection type. So how to set the parameters of intersection type? You can refer to this form. If you want the robot to stop at a crossroad, a T-junction, or a Y-junction, you can set the intersection type parameter value to 1. If you want the robot to stop before a left T-intersection or a left right-angle turn, set the intersection type parameter value to 2. If you want the robot to stop before the right T-intersection or the right corner, you can set the intersection type parameter value to 3. Drag out the module of stopping at intersections while patrolling, input the speed value as 70, and set the intersection type as 1. Switch to the simulation interface, move the robot here, click on start debugging, and you can see that the robot stops in front of this intersection. Then you can change the intersection type parameter to 2. Switch to the simulation interface, move the robot here, click on start debugging. 
And you can see that the robot stops before the left T-junction. If you change the intersection type parameter to 3, switch to the simulation interface, move the robot here. Click on start debugging, the robot will patrol the line and stop before this right T-junction. Next, let's learn the subroutine of turning left at the intersection. It can make the robot turn left about 90 degrees on a single wheel, mainly for turning at intersections. Drag out the turn left at the intersection a module, switch to the simulation interface, click on start debugging. And you can see that the robot turns left about 90 degrees on a single wheel. If you want the robot to patrol the line to the middle of the crossroad and then turn left, how do you program it? It can be programmed like this. We first let the robot patrol the line to the crossroad and stop. Then let the robot go straight for a period of time, such as 1.8 seconds, this time value is obtained through actual tests. Finally let the robot turn left at the intersection. Switch to the simulation interface, click on start debugging. You can see that the robot patrols the line to the center of the intersection and then turns left. The subroutine for turning right at an intersection can make the robot turn right about 90 degrees with a single wheel, and it is also mostly used for turning at intersections. Drag out the module of turning right at the intersection, switch to the simulation interface, move the robot here, and click on start debugging. It can be seen that the single wheel of the robot turns right about 90 degrees. If you want the robot to patrol the line to the center of the intersection and then turn right, you can write the program like this. First let the robot patrol the line and stop before the intersection, then let the robot go straight for a while. And finally let the robot turn right at the intersection. Switch to the simulation interface, click on start debugging, and you can see that the robot walks from here to the center of the intersection and then turns right. Then, let's learn about the subroutine for stopping until ID is identified. It can make the robot patrol the line at the specified speed until it identifies the specified task ID and then stops. In its call module, you can input the speed of line patrol and the specified ID. If you want the robot to patrol the line and stop before the right turn sign, you can first move the robot to the right turn sign. In the data window of the AI vision module, check the ID number of the right turn sign. You can see that the ID number of the right turn sign is 8. Then switch to the programming interface and write the program. Drag out the module, stop until ID is identified. Enter a speed of 70 and the specified ID is 8. Switch to the simulation interface, move the robot back here, click on start debugging. And you can see that the robot stops before the right turn mark. If you want the robot to patrol the line to the center of the intersection where the right turn sign is located and then turn right, how to write a program? We can let the robot patrol the line and stop before the right turn sign. Then go straight for a while and finally turn right again. Switch to the simulation interface and start debugging. You can see that the robot patrols the line to the center of the intersection and then turns right.